guys, it's Julius, and today I am going to talk about a topic that I am not sure about yet. Uh, a lot of you told me that you love the videos that I randomly come up with while starting a video, so I'm going to ramble about a few topics or a topic we're going to see and yes I hope that that will relax you and calm you down and just help you with anything and give you a positive effect on the day night whatever time you're watching this video okay um I would say we could, we could talk about what do you want? What, what should we talk about? Um, maybe about um, smoking in general. Um, not weed, I mean um, tobacco and what else, you know, everything legal, I mean weed is legal in a few states, or is it, but um, I mean tobacco, 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 <laughs> and I think It's your decision, and 
accepted and respected and you should do the same with those who choose otherwise who want to you say yes I know the risks I know how dangerous smoking is or I know how dangerous alcohol is but I want to drink or smoke it and that's their decision not yours you can have your own opinion of course but you have to accept I think you have to accept it and respect it and like I said I am smoking a little bit of um, hookah or shisha and a few cigarettes lately I don't know if I like it um, I don't know if I want to really begin to smoke because that is just not healthy at all um, with the increased chance of a heart attack and a stroke I mean why should I start you know um, sometimes I or, or for the past few days I feel the need um, to smoke a cigarette but yesterday for example I didn't and um, I, I mean when I say I feel the need I don't mean I have to smoke you know it's, it's just the feeling of the nicotine that maybe the body wants or just yeah wants but not just does not need the nicotine so I could refuse to smoke but then on the other hand I want something I could have it why shouldn't I take it you know but um, yeah I know it's dangerous I know it's really unhealthy so um, I don't really think that I will become a smoker uh, if you want to call it that way but um, yeah I accept people I know I'm strong enough to refuse 
use the alcohol if it may come it never it will never come to this but I know that I, if if but it will never um, I'm strong enough to just refuse the how do I call that the need um, maybe maybe if I am in the maybe if I am or I, when I am or if I am in that position I think about it otherwise um, not otherwise I would maybe change my mind about that but I am 18 right now and smoking and drinking just got legal for me you know I mean drinking um, is legal in Germany at the age of 16 but the hard alcohol the liquor is legal for me since I turned 18 in February in February and it's really new to me and I want to explore I think that's normal I want to um, experience new things that were illegal before so um, but it, that doesn't mean that I will just join those the people make bad decisions and keep making them you know um, if I start smoking I can stop you know if I start drinking I can stop drinking I think you get the point and yes this is my opinion of smoking and to be addicted addiction would be another good theme but what what could we Talk. I mean, what is there to say about addiction? It's 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 bad. It's not good, you know. Um, you know, I, I know that you know that. So why I am explaining that to you? But I think you can be addicted to everything. You can be addicted to chocolate. I I, I believe a lot of people are. You can be addicted to the normal things. You can be addicted to like the most popular things are of I think the most popular thing on planet earth are cigarettes for be, for people to be addicted to and then it's gonna be alcohol uh, then the other drugs like heroin um, and, and so on and so on but you can also become addicted to let's say Pringles or just chips in general or fast food in general um, If someone is addicted to reading, come on, that can be a, that that can be a thing. Um, I think reading is just a hobby. I don't know if we can say that. But ASMR, I just think ASMR can easily become an addiction because if you always have someone talking to you, or if you always have someone that does something for you, like sounds, for example, or whispering every night and then one night you don't have it one night you f you can't sleep because of it and then the other and the other and the other until you finally get to watch an ASMR video again to sleep and then you sleep again like that is an addiction it's not a bad addiction but it is a it is, it's an addiction in my opinion um, but I would be I would be okay if I would be addicted to ASMR like that doesn't kill me. I mean, chocolate could, could. I mean, if I am, if I'm working out like I'm doing right now, um, and I just keep my body weight, I keep, I, I go running and stuff. I do. I won't die from chocolate or fast food addiction. But if I wouldn't work out or wouldn't go running or anything, and I would like get real fat. I think my heart wouldn't like that really, much, really. but um, yeah, addiction, it would be really interesting if you guys could tell me in the comments if you are addicted to anything, it would be really interesting to know, just let me know in the comments, okay, I will end the video right now. Thank you so much for watching. Oh.
hope you found this video interesting. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. And yes, I will see you later. Check out my um, Snapchat and Instagram. The links will be in the description of the name. I, my name on Instagram is Whisper for President. Like on YouTube.